Hey everyone, it is the first day of Owls, April 1st, Wednesday. Oh, I'm looking very rough. I just got home from work and it was a day. So, the Winslow and I are going to take our first book, tiny one, finish it tonight, feel accomplished, and keep going. Who are you talking to? Ugh. My husband interrupted because it's the day after his birthday, so it's his over birthday and I am ignoring him. But, hey Winslow, we're gonna read? We're gonna read? This is his favorite spot in the house, is the library chair, so he can see out the window and knock over all my Harry Potter figurines, but... Let's see how we do with vlogging the owls, first week of owls. We will try, and we will do it day one. Chicken wings with hot sauce. In a book. It's going to be a good night. End of night one of the owls. I made okay progress. I'm about halfway through Del Toro on page boo, 49. <laughs> And now I am going to go to bed, had a yummy dinner of chicken wings and salad and watched Star Wars with the husband. We're starting a Star Wars marathon because what else are we going to do when we're home? And that's about it. He's chatting on the phone. Dogs are outside. Peace. Okay, better. So much for my bees and quiet. Ah. <laughs> oh. It's Thursday. I am about to start some deliveries for work and this is where I realized that me being a dum-dum did not make sure that any of my owl books were available through script for audiobook and now I have nothing to listen to while I do half an hour of deliveries. Yay! Uh, audiobook recommendations? Anybody? Because I've got nothing on the go right now. What you got? Unique. I didn't want to pay attention to you right now. I wanted to pay attention to your brother. You got your bone? Does he have your bone? I know we're so sad. It is Friday, finally. Ooh, bad light. And I finally get to start reading. I am done work for the weekend. And I'm gonna pick up the last little bit of Del Tora. But I wanted to rant a little bit about a CBC article that came out today. And it is saying that the College of Pharmacists and the Government of Health has restricted people to 30 day fills of prescriptions. And that this was ridiculous and it's gonna make everything three times more expensive for people. And that the reason this is happening is just so pharmacies can gouge people and as someone who works in a pharmacy <laughs> i'm taking a lot of offense for uh, from that because one we're not gouging people it just means you have three dispensing fees and two the main person quoted in this article does not work in a pharmacy. She works in a medical clinic and she is saying that there is no drug shortages. And I live, or I live, I work in a tiny small town pharmacy and we usually do about a hundred or so prescriptions a day. And my drug order that I placed today had 46 different items on shortage, 46 for my 100 prescription a day pharmacy. Can you imagine how many items pharmacies like Save on Foods or Shoppers or London Drugs, like those big pharmacies that churn out about 400 prescriptions a day are dealing with? 
And yet this article is coming out saying that we are restricting for the money and that it's a money grab. I was very frustrated. Very, very frustrated. I do your due diligence, please, before believing that the healthcare system in Canada is trying to screw you over, please, because some things are just people spouting ignorance and it's very frustrating. Okay, that's my rant. Back to reading. I'm wearing different glasses today because they match my shirt instead of my blue ones. And finish my book, have dinner. It's not your night. Very excited about that. And then hopefully move on to my next one. It is the first Friday readathon this weekend, uh, hosted by Rustic Pages and Discovered Reads. Rustic Pages, Discovered Reads. But they do this the first weekend of every month. And uh, it, it's just people who are having fun and doing lots of reading, reading as much as they can and counting pages. And there's a group chat where you can support each other. So that's really awesome. And I'm combining that with my Owl Readathon. And I am going to try and get as much reading done in the next 72 hours as I can before back to work on Monday. Okay, check in with you guys soon. Winslow and I finished our first owl book. It's all done. Now I just have to decide if I want to read The Wicked Deep or start the daunting task that is Dune. What do you think, Winslow? Hmm. Um, he really loves this chair. I don't understand. I mean, the book was good, but I've read it before. It's a kitty book. Maybe I'll do Wicked Deep. And then I can focus on Dune for the rest of the month. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. So stop licking me. <laughs> the Vulcans are circling. No, oh, <laughs> Dini. Yeah, You're a good boy, Winslow. You're a piggy, Ginny. It's Saturday today, and the plan was to garden, but it is snowing in April. So, we are napping. I don't know how she's comfy that way. And we have started. <laughs> we started Nick and Nora's Infinite Playlist, but I cannot reach it. Say hi, Jenny. Oh, I need a bath. So I'm watching Die Hard for what I believe is the first time. And my do 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 that I do when I'm stressed that my coworkers have been bugging me about is fucking Alan Rickman from Die Hard. I'm the confused. Like, I, I, I don't recall ever watching this movie. But I've been quoting it subconsciously. I'm also on my fourth glass of wine. Happy Saturday! Happy Sunday. I have done no reading because it is way too pretty outside. So, Winslow's sun dog in it. He's got his little blanket. And did some gardening. Cleaned up the greenhouse. Planted a cute little flower. I don't know if you can see it. The sun's kind of 
bad. But now I'm gonna eat lunch outside and maybe finally pick up Nick and Nora's Infinite Playlist. So, happy Sunday everybody. I hope it's kinda sunny where you are and you're not going crazy. So I talked about gardening earlier today, but I did not show you everybody. So we got lots of little happy plants in here. This is my husband's garden. I am not 100% sure what he's planted. Fence to keep the dogs out. And over here, we started our potatoes. So we've got two rows of golden and one row of russets. This is my strawberry patch. They haven't completely come back yet, but I usually have at least 30 plants or so. And then this year, this is our second year doing garden, a garden in the house. We're doing a raspberry bush. So all along that edge will be raspberries and then we're going to kind of uh, do a little bit of fencing off, like what's over there, to keep it from encroaching on the rest of the garden. This is a plum tree. And then over here, we have blueberry plants. Blueberry plants. Ginny barking at Winslow. This is an orange tree. It is oh, a citrus flying dragon. So we planted this last year. It'll probably be a couple years before we see anything produce, but it's super neat. Um, this is another blueberry. And then this is a pink berry. So it's like a lemonade blueberry kind of thing. Yeah, a pink lemonade blueberry. I didn't get any <laughs> any fruits of that last year but this year hopefully and then I'm gonna plant these this year so they're honeyberry blue moons and then we got our greenhouse going over there we just cleaned it out but we haven't planted anything and then that's a wonderful apple tree but I don't know what we're going to do with those garden beds over there uh a framberry, so 100% a strawberry, but looks and tastes like a raspberry. So this is my kind of um, experiment this year. I don't know how they're gonna be. And then this, I'm so proud of this. This is Sherman. He's about yay tall. He's a little ornamental Japanese maple that I started from seed, and he's grown so big in the past year. I'm so excited. So good job, Sherman. And my little flower that I showed you. It's a work in progress, but we're having fun, especially with being stuck at home. Tuesday, the end of my week, and I have completed one book. I have completed Potions, which is The shrink Shrinking Solution, which is a book under 150 pages, which is pathetic. Uh, we're ignoring Mount Vesuvius that's on my forehead right now, by the way. It, it, it's just not there. Um, yeah, I have had no motivation to read whatsoever. At this point, I'm kind of thinking I might change my books just, just because I want to read like I'm sitting here going I want to read but I don't want to read anything I have said I will read there we go oh my god Ugh. okay um yeah uh, one's up oh my god lighting so ignore this. Ginny ate a library book and the libraries are closed so I can't actually apologize and pay my dues for that. So it's just kind of hanging out on the shelf so Ginny feels bad. 
Um, yeah, I think I'm going to change my books. Um, I just put in a book outlet order, which I'm super excited about. I should be getting that on the 16th, and there's I, all of the books in there I want to read desperately. So we'll see what I get on the 16th, but until then, I might change my books. I might pick up City of Gold, because I haven't started that yet. I think that's what I might do. I might do a mini um, TBR with my vlog next week. We will see. Okay, end of the vlog. I read the Del Toro Quest book for potions, The Shrinking Solution. I read a little bit of Chain, or not Chain of Gold, um, a little bit of the Throne of Glass book I'm currently in the middle of, and that's it. That's all. There is no more. I am horrible this week. Let's hope next week is better. Bye.